Hey, what's up YouTube? Jeremiah Hersey here. Welcome back to the next PL 300 test prep question. Today we're going to be looking at a question relating to a measure and how to understand that measure at different levels within a hierarchy. So a hierarchy that you typically think of is the year, the quarter, the month, the date. So we're going to be looking at a measure that uses time intelligence functions, specifically the last date function. Now the last date function is going to find the last date within the current filter context and return a value that we specify. So let's go ahead and look at our demonstration and then we'll jump into our question. So here I have a measure that's using the calculate function and it's using calculate because we want to find out how many orders were on a specific day. So calculate allows us to modify filter context. And this is one of the most powerful functions in DAX. And so we're using this calculate to modify the filter context from whatever it is to look at a specific metric. And so what we want to do here is we want to do a distinct count on the sales order number. Now the sales order number in this model is unique. And then at the very end down here, this is the last date time intelligence function. And so what this does is it finds the last date in the current filter context. And so this is important because as this measure is looking over our hierarchy, it is only going to look at what level that we're at. And so it's important to get an understanding of what this does. So let's take a look at our visualization to get an understanding of what this is going to return. So you can see here that I have a hierarchy built into this matrix and you can see that hierarchy drill down feature up here at the top that allows you to navigate at different levels. And so what our measure is doing when we look at the year level is it's not counting how many sales order numbers are within the entire year. How do we know this? Well, if we expand on the year itself, so I'm going to expand 2005, what we're going to see is that we have multiple counts throughout the year. And so if we totaled all of these up, we're going to see that it is not going to align to this number seven that we see up here at the very top when we're at the year level. So what is it actually doing? So this measure is going to look at the last date within the current filter context. And so the last date of 2005 would be December 31st, 2005. And so if we expand down to our day level here, and I look all the way down to December 31st of 2005, you're gonna see that value of seven. And so when we are at the year level, it's looking at what is the last date of the year and bringing back a distinct count of that sales order number. And so that's where that value of seven is coming from. So if we were to go up one level and we're looking here at, let's say July, okay? So if we're looking at the month level here of July, this is looking at what is the last date because that was our filter in the calculate function. So we're looking at the last date in July when we're looking at this current filter context. And so as we expand July and scroll all the way down to the 31st, we're going to see that value of five. And so when we're at a year level, it's looking at the last date of the year. When we're looking at the month level, it's the last day of the month. And if we're looking at the day level, it's that specific day because this is the lowest level. And so that value of eight is returned. So on July 28th, there were eight distinct sales order numbers. 
And so depending upon what level of the hierarchy you're at, whether you're at the year, the month, or the day level, it's going to return the last day within that filter context. And so just to recap here, if we're at the year level, this is going to be the last date of the year. If we're looking at the month level, it's going to be looking at the last date of the month. And if we're looking at the day level, it's that particular day. So let's go ahead and take a look at our test prep question. It says you have a Power BI report and you have the following tables. We have a balances table. The table contains daily records of closing balances for every active bank account. The closing balances appear for every day the account is live, including the last day. And then we also have a date table as well, ranging from 2000 to 2025. And it tells us that there is a hierarchy of year, quarter, month, and day. So our typical date hierarchy here. And so it says that we have the following DAX measure. Once again, we see that calculate function. Calculate allows us to modify the filter context to look at what we specifically want to see. And then we're doing a distinct count on the account ID. So it's only going to count that account ID one time. And then the filter, this is the most important part here. The filter is the last date function. And so with this being the filter, it's going to look specifically at the last date of whatever the current filter context is. So let's look down here at our statements. So a table visual that displays the date hierarchy at the year level and the accounts measure will show the total number of accounts that were live throughout the year. This right here is the key to this question, throughout the year. Now, if we were just to calculate the distinct count of account IDs, then the answer would be yes, but because of this filter being the last date, it is only looking at the last day of the year. And so because of that, this is actually going to be no. So this first one here, it is not going to give us the total number of accounts throughout the year. It's only going to give us the total number of accounts for the last day of the year because that's the current filter context. And the second one says a table visual that will display the date hierarchy at the month level and the accounts measure will show the total number of accounts that were live throughout the month. Once again, this keyword right here, throughout, means that it's going to total it all up. With our filter being the last date function, once again, this is going to be looking at the last day of the month. And so it's not going to calculate all of the account IDs throughout the entire month only the last day of the month, so this selection would be no. And then the final one, a table visual that displays the date hierarchy at the day level in the accounts measure will show the total number of accounts that were live that day. So since we are at the lowest level and our last date is that actual day, then the correct answer in this case would be yes. So. As we look at this, we just have to understand that the key here is the last date function, that time intelligence function grabbing the last date of the current filter context. So if we're at the year level, it's the last day of the year. The month level is the last day of the month. And if we're at the day level, that is the same as that last date because that's the current filter context. I want to thank you so much for joining me. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more content. I'll see you in the next one.